Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So I know I haven't posted a video on here in a while. It's probably been maybe a month or so. Yeah, it's been a while. But I'm here to catch you guys up on everything. So I'm going to be doing a talk and twist kind of video. So right now my hair is underneath here. I think the first thing I'm going to cover is my hair. Oh, that's the first thing I'm going to update you guys on. My hair has been, I guess you could say pretty much the same. I'm still losing my hair and I'm really noticing it in the front. So if I kind of pull this back, you guys can see clearly that I'm losing my hair in the front you can really see it right here and maybe some right here the nape as well is i mean it pretty much looks at the front it's i'm losing the hair is there and my hair isn't as full as you can see it kind of looks more limp because i am going through postpartum shedding which happens when you have a baby so most of you guys know that i had a baby about eight months ago so yeah this is what i'm dealing with now for today's talking twist i'm going to be using some hair clips to section off my hair. I'm gonna be using an old favorite, Cantu Shea Butter, Coconut Curling Cream. I'm gonna use um, the Jane Carter Solution Shea Butter, and I need a spray bottle. I forgot to bring it, so I'm gonna grab that. All right, and then I got my spray bottle. I picked this up from Sally. It's one of those, what is it, the 360 spray or the 180 spray, I don't remember. But I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers using this spray bottle, and I've always wanted to get one, so I got myself one from Sally. So let's kind of section this hair off, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Part it down the middle. So my hair was actually blown out, so that's why it probably looks like it has a little bit more length to it, because I did blow it out. And I actually filmed a video of me doing it, and I also did a review on the dryer that I used. So you guys will be seeing that probably after this video. So for me, the way I like to, I guess you could say, refresh my twist is by using a spray bottle moisturizer and a little bit of oil or shea butter and just retwisting my hair that's pretty much how i do it. i pretty much redo the twist out that's the only way i can really refresh my hair so i don't use any combs or anything i kind of just use my fingers to separate the hair using a comb on dry hair would cause some breakage so i don't want that so yes back to me losing my hair i'm eight months postpartum so eight months after having a baby I don't know when this postpartum shedding is supposed to end. I'm hoping by the one year mark, which would be like February, I'm hoping that's when this crazy shedding will slow down or completely go away because it's really annoying. It honestly is. It makes wash day so much longer. Anyone who's dealt with just shedding, it doesn't even have to be postpartum shedding, but excess shedding or more shedding than normal is really annoying to deal with. So. Um, wash days really suck, especially in the shower. There's a lot of hair that just keeps coming out and obviously you don't want it to go down the drain. So yeah, it's just a little bit more work. So my hairline, it it's really bad. I've seen worse. I've seen ladies like lose like a, like a handful of hair in the front of their heads and the temples and it looks, you know, it doesn't look good. So thankfully mine isn't that bad, but mine is definitely something I'm not used to. Even using gel, kind of like slick down the hairs. Because the hairline is so short and so thick, the area where I lost the hair, gel can't really hold it down. Cause gel just doesn't work. So I kind of just have given up on my hairline. I'm kind of just letting it do its thing. It looks crazy. Most of the time I'm wearing one of these little barrette hats to kind of hide my edges. I try to do like the flat twist in the front to kind of hide it as well. Pretty much no matter what style I do, whether it's a puff or a twist out, my edges are going to be seen and gel just does not work anymore. So I'm kind of just letting it do its thing. For any of you guys that dealt with postpartum shedding, how long did it last? Because I, I think, well everyone's supposed to be different, but at least an idea of how long it would last would be great. I really hope it ends soon because styling my hair is not fun anymore. My styles don't last. They don't look good for very long. Um, they pretty much only look good for one day and then it, the edges just puff out. So it's not fun. Other than the hair loss, uh, the hairline, I've definitely noticed that my hair isn't as full. Uh, especially when I look back at pictures when I was pregnant, when my hair was really, really thriving and doing so well. My hair was super, it looks super, super thick. It's still thick, but it's not as thick and you can really tell. So I've probably lost hair somewhere on the inside, but I can't, I can't see it because it's hidden. But I can definitely see it at the hairline. As for, I haven't gotten a trim again since the last time I shared my haircut with you guys when I went to the hair salon and got it done. And I think that was back August, maybe September. I'm not even sure anymore when I got that haircut. But I feel like I'm due again 
or at least I want to cut my hair again. Not super short or anything, I just want just like a trim, just to get rid of the ends because they feel and they look a little raggedy. So I'd like to get that done. With the cold weather coming and me wear my hair out, I definitely want to make sure I get my hair trimmed and help protect it from this harsh weather that's coming. So that's pretty much how my hair is doing. My hair is okay besides the shedding. As for life, a life update. Like, like I was mentioning, I did recently have a baby. I haven't lost all of my baby weight yet, unfortunately. I know a lot of people say that, you know, it usually takes about a year or so to lose it. Everyone is different, of course. Some people lose it within two weeks of having their baby. Some people lose it maybe a year, years. Some people never lose it. Everyone is completely different. So I am at the eight month mark and I've lost, I've gained a total of 30. I'm about 15 pounds to go. Still a good bit of weight on me and I'm hoping to lose it before the one year mark. So I've got some work to do. I did recently find a boot camp here in Toronto that focuses on, or a boot camp for moms who were trying to lose their baby weight. So I'll be starting that next week. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on my vlog channel. If you're not following me there, you should definitely follow me there. I'll keep you guys posted over on there and I'll probably do like a final update maybe here or something. I recently signed up for the boot camp. My first day's next week. I'm excited, a bit nervous because it's been a while since I've worked out and it's with a group so I don't know any of these people I'm about to meet and work out with but it should be fine. So yeah, that's happening so that's something new. Also I recently started eating a plant-based diet. My fiance started doing it first and I decided to join in just you know kind of to show some support on the whole lifestyle change and kind of just to challenge myself so i started about a week ago it's officially been a week and some i started over a week ago and i went five days straight without eating any meat fish dairy yeah all that is strictly plants nothing that contains animal products let's say it was quite a challenge it still is because i'm still doing it it is a challenge i want to say the first two days i was very frustrated Kind of saying to myself, why did I do this to myself? You know, before I did the diet, I enjoyed eating food. But once I started the diet, I did not enjoy eating food because it was, it seemed so boring. It's so plain. There's no meat. There's no fish with my food. Here I am eating rice and beans or rice and broccoli. I just, it just felt so boring to me. But once I figured out some recipes that seemed interesting and actually cooked it for myself and ate it it wasn't so bad so by day four things got way easier for me i started i went out and got myself through tofu and i seasoned the tofu as if i were seasoning chicken not that it tasted like chicken because it it doesn't it made my meal less boring if that makes sense i think the whole thing with the missing the chicken was the texture of the chicken i feel like that was one of the things that i was missing so tofu definitely replaced that um, it gave me a little bit of a different texture, a nice chewy texture. Um, it left me feeling full. When I was just eating veggies and fruits, I didn't feel full. I didn't feel satisfied. I felt kind of down about it. It really sucked. I felt like this is torture. <laughs> so now I'm in, it's probably about day nine now and things are definitely a lot better. Um, I will say that on day day five or six, I broke my my diet. I got invited to a Halloween party and there was pizza, lasagna, chicken wings, everything that contained meat or dairy. And there was literally nothing for me to eat. So I said to myself, you know what, for today, I will eat whatever is here, but I'm not going to beat myself up about it because honestly, there's nothing else for me to eat. That day, I did break my diet, but the next day, I just went right back into eating pl a plant-based diet. I don't want to call myself vegan, of course, because every now and then, I probably may have some, si some sort of dairy. I can definitely see myself being vegetarian, but not fully vegan. I recently watched this documentary. It's called The Game Changer. No, The Game Changers, I think, on Netflix. And they talk about processed food, fast food, meat, dairy, and all the horrible things that are in everything I just mentioned. That documentary really opened up my eyes and made me think differently about the types of food that I was consuming. So I don't want to get into it too much. I'd rather you guys check it out for yourself and let me know your thoughts. If any of you guys have seen it, or if any of you guys are vegan or vegetarian, please share your thoughts down below. So I slowly started changing my diet. I did lose about four, 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 four and a half pounds 
since doing it in one week I lost four and a half pounds so that's crazy I was doing every other diet but I was still kind of snacking and I was not able to lose weight no exercise this is just eating completely different I'm not exercising and I was able to lose four pounds in one week I literally completely cut out all animal products I was reading labels doing research before buying anything pretty much cut out fast food as well because you have no idea what's in fast food it's only been a week and a half so I mean it hasn't been that long because you know obviously things can change but for that entire week and a half I completely cut out all the things that I used to love or still love just to challenge myself and yeah within that time I was able to lose four and a half pounds so I will say that when I did break my diet on that day when I went to the party I felt bad I felt like oh my gosh here I am eating meat and I know the dangers of eating meat and how it's linked to diabetes again watch game changers on Netflix and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about but instantly I became very bloated I felt very heavy so during the I guess you can say the diet I wasn't bloated my stomach was nice and flat the flattest I've ever seen it so that's just a little update on diet and I guess a little bit of exercise exercising will start next week I actually want to ask you guys a question because I came across this post on I think it was snapchat either someone that I follow was talking about this or they just shared a photo how much do you spend on hair products a month use myself as an example I think when I first started out I used to spend a lot of money on hair products because I just wanted to get everything anything that was hot that came out I wanted it now that I've been doing my hair for so long I don't buy anything to be honest I don't know the last time I went to a beauty supply store and bought something if I had to guess I want to say about two months ago I kind of just I kind of like to either bulk up so when I do go to the beauty supply store I just get everything I need maybe two of everything so that way I don't have to keep going out and out and out or I just use whatever I have finish it and then go ahead and restock so I probably go to a beauty supply store maybe every other month and when I do I probably spend maybe $20 like I was saying I did come across a post where someone was saying that they spend about $150 every month on hair products and I was saying to myself wow that is a lot of money to be spending every single month and I'm saying to myself am I not doing something but there is a term out there it's called product junkie and I definitely was a product junkie when I first started learning how to take care of my hair. I wanted to try everything. And then you kind of realize, hmm, certain products kind of do the same thing. Like for example, before I started using the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream, I was using Lotta Body Curl Milk or something. And someone told me about this one. One of you guys told me about this one. And I decided to try this out. And I realized they both work exactly the same. My hair, I get the same results. This one, I get way more. For, better, for a good price than the Lotta Body. I like that with this container, I can dip my hand in with the Lotta Body, you have to pump it out. After a while you kind of realize, ah, certain products kind of work the same, kind of do the same thing. The smells are a little bit different, the brand is different, but I kind of just stick to what I know. And if you guys been following me, you know I've been using this thing for years. For years. This is like, this is all that I buy when I go. I buy the same leave-in, the same moisturizer, and the same oil every single time. Let me know down below, how much you guys spend a month on hair care? Alright you guys, so I finished twisting up my hair. This is what it's looking like. I most likely will keep these in until wash day. I'll just wear my little Brett hat because it's so rainy here in Toronto. The, wa the weather is so ugly that wearing the little Brett hat for the rest of the week would be perfectly fine. So this is what my hair looks like after retwisting it. I'm actually enjoying my chill pudding which I'll talk a little bit more in my upcoming video about how I change my diet, what I'm eating, and hopefully you guys check out Game Changers. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!